for far too long, keep going and everything will be all right, was my guiding mantra. But let's face it, everyone has a breaking point, including myself. We often get swept up in the dazzling world of social media, where success stories are polished to a high gloss. Influencers and entrepreneurs tell us to hustle relentlessly until exhaustion forces them, us, myself, to stop. But here's what I know to be true. Real accomplishments come from not burning at both ends, but from really the ability to block out the noise and focus. It's about cutting through the distractions, right? The endless notification and the pressure to keep up with every trend. True success isn't about the number of hours you put in, but the quality of those hours and the clarity of your purpose. Really, in a world that celebrates constant productivity, it's really crucial to recognize our own limits. Finding that balance is not a sign of weakness. I think it's really a testament to your wisdom and overall your strength. So I say let's redefine success as a whole. It's not just about the final destination, but the journey of staying true to oneself, managing priorities and knowing when to push forward and when to pause. What's up, everyone? This is Fit for Business with me, Jared Lane. If you could do us a favor, if you're watching this on YouTube for the first time, go ahead and tap that subscribe button. As well, if you're listening to on Spotify for the very first time, please go ahead and tap that follow button as well. Welcome to episode 37. So for those of you who don't know, I'm the owner and founder of Social Topia. We're a social media marketing agency based out of Monroe, New York. We've been in operation for just over six and a half years now. And our agency really primarily partners with fitness entrepreneurs and home service professionals. We help these people, excuse me, we help these companies and brands elevate their brand and achieve their marketing goals, the end game to increase revenue. For far too long, keep going and everything will be all right was my guiding light. Sound familiar? It's that whisper of optimism we really cling to, especially when the going gets really fucking tough. But today, I really want to break down for all of you that wall of relentless positivity and be real with you. Yes, we all have a breaking point, and it's okay to acknowledge these things. Really, in the age of digital media, we're bombarded with images, videos of success wrapped in shiny packages. Influencers and entrepreneurs paint pictures of their hustle and bustle and the overall grind by tales of burning the midnight oil, really, until they physically can't go anymore. Good for them, I say, right? But this is my reality check. For me, real accomplishments aren't about sprinting to the point of collapse. They're really about learning to block out that noise, finding focus amid chaos, and knowing when really enough is enough. So let me share something personal with you guys. There was this time when I thought the more hours I put in, the closer I would get to success. You know, glued to my work and drowning in a sea of notifications, right? and caught in a web of endless to-dos. But you know what? That approach really, I think, almost led me to a dead end. I realized that success isn't really measured by the hours we're grinding away, but by the quality of those hours and the clarity of your purpose, right? So when I say like a sea of notifications, right? We can all attest to this depending upon like what type of business you're in today. Um, You know, there's to-do lists, there's CRM, customer relationship, customer relationship management tools, social media, right? We're bombarded with these notifications. And now, again, stemming from like for me personally, like during my work hours, like during times when I'm like recording content, when I'm in meetings, I have my do not disturb on. I have certain text message threads that are on do not disturb throughout the course of my day because I know people are constantly texting in those threads. They're communicating with one another. And for me, I would rather not just be disrupted. Now, somebody knows if it's really important and they need to get through to me, you know, calling is going to be the best option. Although the do not disturb is on, I have, you know, that selected for a few people in case of an emergency. So that's a prime example of how I try to today block out that, you know, noise that surrounds us every given waking moment in our business, right? 
So really, in a society that champions nonstop productivity, I think it's crucial to recognize our own personal limits. Finding that balance isn't really a sign of weakness. It's a testament to wisdom and strength. It's really about redefining what is meant to be successful for ourselves, not just reaching the finish line or the destination, but enjoying the journey too. A journey where you stay true to yourself, you manage your priorities, and you have the foresight to know when how to push forward and when to pause. Right, So we live in that world of chaos where social media showcases perfection is often a mirage. We see the curated highlights, the reels, the victories, but really those struggles and setbacks that lie beneath all the minutiae, right? So let's focus on our own path, embrace our unique journeys with our own peace and your rhythm. And I think in doing so, not only will you achieve your goals, but quite frankly, you'll do it in a way that sustains you and brings more genuine fulfillment. So let's take a deeper dive into the challenges, again, of blocking out that noise I keep talking about. Imagine your mind as crowded as a room filled with chatter. You know, everybody's talking. Everyone's talking at once, the naysayers, the doubters, even our own, your own little inner critic, your voice. Finding focus in that room really feels impossible, right? But it's essential to really hone on your true north, right? And here's a tip. Start by setting clear boundaries. Hyperconnected world, right? We're hyperconnected, where everyone has a fucking opinion. It's vital to carve out time for yourself. Block out periods where you are disconnected from social media, emails, and other distractions, like what I was saying before. Really use this time to reflect, plan, and align your actions that meet with your goals. For me, I think this productivity hack is a necessity for mental clarity in general. So let me give you another example. I'll spit on this. I once met you know, a pretty successful entrepreneur who swore by his digital detox. Digital detox Sundays, they call it. Every week, they would unplug from all their electronic devices. No phones, no computers, no tablets, no nothing. Just them and a notepad and their thoughts. So he used to think to recalibrate, to think critically, and really about his next steps. And guess what? This simple practice helped him avoid burnout and maintain a clear vision for his business to build that business into a multi-million dollar company. Now, I know what you might be thinking, right? Easier said than done. And you're right, that shit's not easy. But embracing discomfort is part of our own growth and journey, right? Stepping out of our comfort zone and challenge, you really have to challenge yourself to break that constant noise through all the distractions. The world won't end if you miss a few notifications. But your world probably could change for the better if you gain a clear sense of that person, purpose, or direction. Another crucial aspect of finding focus is setting priorities. With a myriad of tasks vying for your attention, it's really easy to feel overwhelmed. I think that's really where prioritization comes in. Being able to identify what's truly important and dedicate your energy to those tasks. It's really about doing less and achieving more. So I recommend is the Eisenhower matrix, y'all. This helps divide your task into four categories, right? Urgent and important, important but not urgent, urgent but not important, and neither urgent nor important. That simple tool helps you focus on what truly matters and to allocate your time effectively. So let's talk about perseverance. When you're striving for success, the road isn't always smooth. It's bumpy. There's going to be setbacks and failures and moments of doubt. Everyone's probably now they're nodding their head right now. But here's the thing. Perseverance really is about pushing through those tough times, right? Learning from what's going on and coming out on the other side stronger. Reflecting on my journey, there were countless times I felt like giving up. Projects failed partnerships dissolved, and my fucking confidence took hits. Who doesn't? But I think each setback was really a learning opportunity. From that, I have developed resilience by framing failure is not the end, but they're stepping stones to personal growth. So let me share an anecdote that really illustrates this, right? So earlier on throughout my career, before Socialtopia, I had tried to launch a product with a partner of mine at the time. Um, this product was more of like an energy drink that was 
healthy, had all the right ingredients. Um, you know, we tried to, you know, start a Kickstarter campaign. You know, we, we had the marketing, we had all the tools necessary to launch this potential drink. Uh, the drink at the time was called Elevate. And that was a brand. We had all the designs, the logos, commercials done, um, you know, and again, we had launched this Kickstarter campaign and nothing, nothing happened. And this is going back. This is 2014 or 2015 at this point. That's how far back this is. So this is going back clearly nearly a decade almost at this point. And this is like back then when, you know, companies like Fit, Fit Aid were on the scene, you know, and exploding um, and other, you know, drinks that are comparable to, you know, those drink enhancements, if you would. You know, we had all the ingredients laid out. We, we thought we had <clears throat> we thought we had all the tools and structures in place. But, you know, so what I learned from that, and instead of wallowing, I really took a step back and analyzed what the fuck went wrong. You know, I engaged with who I thought could be potential investors, thought feedback, uh, thought to integrate the product. And, you know, lessons learned from that failure, I think for me, laid the foundation for where I am today. And that goes back in hand with perseverance isn't about blind stubbornness, right? It's really about being adaptable, open to change, and willing to pivot, pivot when necessary. I think it's really about having a vision, but being flexible in your approach. You know, what I know, remember, though, even the most successful people that we know have faced monumental failures. They share it all the time. And what's them, what sets them apart is their ability to keep continuing and rise again and learn and move forward. So I want to circle back to the idea of redefining success, right? So in a world that's obsessed with metrics, followers, likes, revenue, it's really it's easy to get lost in all those numbers, right? But the true success is deeply personal. It's defined by your values, your passions, and your sense of fulfillment. Think about what success means to you. Is it financial freedom, work-life balance, making a difference in your community, Success means everything to somebody else. Whatever it is, let that be your guiding star. You know, really stay true to your vision and don't get swayed by the pressures of society or expectations. I just want to go saying, you know, remember that your journey is uniquely yours. So let's remember to embrace your path with ups and downs, twists and turns, uh, celebrate your achievements and learn from your failures and keep moving forward at your own pace. You know, they say success isn't a one size fits all concept. It's really about living a life that aligns with your values and brings you joy. So as we navigate our own journey, let's keep these principles in mind. Block out the noise, <clears throat> set clear priorities, persevere through challenges and redefine success on your own terms. You'll not only achieve your goals, but you'll also live a life of purpose and fulfillment. So there you have it. That's a wrap for this week's episode, guys. And thank you for lending me your ears and most importantly, your attention. I'll see you next week.